Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another special. This is for the full moon eclipse. Uh, I think it's a lunar eclipse, right? Uh, January 10th. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to see what my cards have to say. I'm no astrologer, but my investigations <laughs> reveal that something is about to crumble. Okay? I think Uranus, or Uranus, however you pronounce it, is going direct, I think. And the the Tower card is ruled by Uranus. Okay? So, keep that in mind. There's going to be some sort of destruction. Okay? There's going to be a breakdown. Something is about to crumble. And if you are living in La La Land... You're about to uh, step outside of it, or you need to. You're going to. Be prepared. Let's see what we got here. That is a rude awakening, okay? Somebody's about to get a rude awakening. What do we have for the 10th of January, this lunar eclipse? What do we got, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? Uh, it's a feeling of disgrace. Somebody may be disgraced by what happens. Going by the book, and this makes sense. This is a serious reality check. This is about universal law. The laws of karma. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't even need to read the card. I feel, and it's a, it is a number 11. This is justice, right? Karma. Reality check is what we're going to get, is a reality check. Something's going to be turned around, okay? The whole thing is going to be turned around. Be prepared. Be prepared for justice to be served. One card, please, for an overall energy for January 10th. We had this the other day. We had, I think, did we have this for the Saturn-Pluto conjunction? I'm not sure, but I really think we did. This is the sword of truth, the raw truth and nothing but the truth. This is about the facts. This is communication. This is the truth coming out. The real truth. This is also the sword that cuts... It cuts away things that no longer serve you. And sometimes it hurts. It hurts. There is a point that is going to be made by the universe. Get prepared. Here comes the truth. And this truth is going to help somebody to move on. It's time. It's time to take that journey. It's time to stop resisting. Somebody's going to be moving on. And they're going to a better place. And they're leaving a troublesome situation behind. That they have been unable to break free from. There's a new journey. We have a journey here and we have a journey here. Somebody is taking a journey. And they're going to a new destination with a big push from above. This is pushing down the demons. This is this is heaven and angels and spirits and plan and the planetary aspects. They're all working together. Removing toxic, unhealthy situations from your life. Be prepared. Seriously, this is a big deal. A very big deal.
This is going to help somebody to take a new approach, which they have been resisting. Moving. This is a card of transformation. Victory and success. But you have to take control of your life. Somebody has been hiding behind a mask. And now it's time to take that journey. We have a big journey that is about to happen. This is traveling. Traveling to a new destination. Somebody that is going to be needing to control their uh, emotions. They're going to need to uh, find some discipline and some willpower to deal with this opposition that they are about to face. Seeing clearly. Clarity is being received. Becoming clear that this has to happen. Because the, the tower is about shedding the light on a situation. Somebody is definitely going to make the choice to move, to go, to get in the driver's seat, to take the high road, to take the reins. Seven of, seven of wands reversed is somebody that is worn down. Uh, they may be needing to admit their defeat. Somebody that is now powerless. This is a fall from power. Somebody is, and it's like there's a power shift here. There is. And somebody is losing their power. They will be admitting their defeat. They may be giving up the fight. Maybe they're going to be forced to. This is also a card of slander. Somebody may have been, you know, not telling the truth about another person. They may, may have been making things up. But clarity, look at this. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, 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 seven is a number from heaven. Seven is about faith. I feel as though there is some sort of, uh, obviously there's some sort of uh, elder power that is trying to help someone. They're trying to help someone be successful in life. They're trying to help someone move forward. They're going to bring some sort of clarity. They're going to they're gonna cut through the confusion. They're going to cut through the deception. They're going to cut through the lies. And they're going to reveal some sort of truth. And it's going to cause someone to lose their power. We have somebody here that is very self-sufficient, enjoying life, uh, very grateful. This storm is over. This is an in independent person. Somebody could be going their own way. They could become single. This is a single independent person who doesn't have anything to worry about. This person is just happy. You know, there's, I don't have nothing to worry about. I'm good. I, I'm stable. I'm solid. I'm secure. I'm a hard worker. This person is doesn't seem to uh, have anything to worry about if you and this person is very authentic and acts with integrity this person is self-sufficient doesn't need anybody to take care of them very capable of success so we have somebody here that may be uh being set free from a situation because they'd be better off on their own Queen of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody who was unstable. This person is stable. This person is not. This person uh, doesn't have any ability to 
save money, this person wastes money, this person is jealous, this person is spiteful, this person is lazy, this person is stubborn, this person doesn't like to accept reality, this person is very superficial, has a big ego. We have some, but this person is, this person is losing their power. They're about to fall. They're, this person is going to experience a loss. This unstable person who, you know, and this, it feels like, it feels like this person, um, I mean, that is a loss. Something is going to be slipping away. It's going away because this person isn't practical. They're not very responsible. They don't put in effort. This person is about to experience a rejection or a loss. Something is headed towards this independent, self-sufficient individual who knows their value. This is a valuable person, knows their value, has a lot of self-worth. Something is headed towards this person, but this person is about to experience, this person, this person is all over the place, very ungrounded. This person is going to, is going to fall because this is a fall. It's a fall from power. There's going to be a power shift. Oh yeah. There's no growth. There's no passion. There's no life left. There's a lack of growth. There's a lack of passion. There's a lack of energy. There's a lack of ambition. This person is very shallow and focused on uh, superficiality. And they may have said some things that weren't true, you know, to make themselves look good. But if you think about the Seven of Wands, add another wand, they're both reversed. We get the Eight of Wands reversed. Very jealous individual. We have a very jealous individual who has caused a lot of problems. This person is about to experience a big loss, and this loss is going to hurt them in their bank account. Okay, their bank account is going to be affected. Um, not only in their bank account, what else? It feels like it's also going to hurt them emotionally because this is emotionally. They didn't make some right choices. They made some improper choices. Okay, they they made the wrong choice. They made the wrong choice to fight and and to pursue something. And now there's relationship problems. The Ten of Cups reversed. There's a dying dream. This could be family leaving. This could be a child leaving home. Um, or a relationship that is ending because there's no more desire to uh, fight for it. That's what it is. This is no desire. There's no growth in this relationship. There's no happiness. There's This isn't working out. There's definite relationship problems. It's been a constant battle right here. I feel we definitely have somebody that is absolutely moving and they're going their own way. If you are already independent, you may be watching some a family member's relationship destruct. Okay, if you are this independent person, you may be, you know, just watching all of this happen. Um, but this single person has somebody coming into their life. Okay, this person that is coming in can see very clearly that this person is solid and stable and secure. This person is self-sufficient and knows their value. This person is stable. They have proved it. They have proved their, that they are a hard worker. So we have somebody here that is seeing that. So we so uh, there is about to be a transformation, a transition of some sort that is going to um, move somebody in a new direction. There's going to be some sort of power shift. There is one relationship that is definitely coming to an end. There's no more passion. There's no more attraction. There's no more growth. Okay. There's no more growth in this relationship. So I feel like it's admitting that it's over. Admit, admitting it, admitting that this is over. Um, I think there could also have been some sort of foul play that is being revealed. Okay, so if somebody has, definitely there's slander, flat, foul, foul play. There's been some sort of injustice that is about to uh, come to light. 
Let's go back over here. Now the Nine of Cups reversed is a dissatisfying situation. Somebody is in a, uh, you know, it wasn't all it was cracked up to be. It, it may have looked good, but it it definitely wasn't uh, all that it was said to be. So this is, uh, I mean, this is a lack of happiness, a lack of abundance. I, I really have to tell you that if you are single, what I see here, let me just bring this down. If you are, if you are single, what I see with the, with these two cards right together, that something, things, if you're single, deep fulfillment is coming. Singles are going to be meeting a real love partner soon. You may have been in a unhappy situation thinking that your wish was never going to be granted. But I think your hard work and your perseverance and your ability to wait for the right one is going to bring you the right one. Okay, so just I'm telling you what. I feel like there's somebody here that can see clearly that there's a stable opportunity that, they, that there's a person that is very valuable and it's it's clear it's this is clarity and this is a very valuable individual and this is somebody moving towards this individual and I think it's the end of lack I really do I think somebody has been you know thinking you know I'm gonna be alone forever I am I'm gonna be alone forever I'm never gonna get wish fulfillment I'm never gonna have it all I'm never gonna find the one I think that that is I think there's about to be a transformation okay here they come here's the one anyhow I think that because this is about the laws of karma if you have done the work you get good karma if you have been if you have been in a situation where you want to win at all costs and you are lazy and you're superficial and your ego is huge and you don't care who you hurt and you're in a false relationship well your karma is honoring your truth accepting the truth not involving yourself in false relationships be just because it's some it's some something to hold just because it's some it be because there's money or you know it's something that's not what you came down to this earth to do to just focus on something that isn't emotionally fulfilling and emotionally fulfilling comes from the heart anyway two now this is a decision this is this the king of uh swords is a very decisive individual this is somebody in authority that could be making a decision this is a protector this is somebody that is very intelligent somebody that is very sharp he knows what he has to do and he does it and he doesn't care if you know and, and it's not in a bad way he doesn't care who's crying about it this is what needs to happen okay this is what has to happen um, based on the truth so this is somebody that is making a decision based on the facts okay it's not about how you feel it's not about your feelings at this point it's about the truth it's about the facts so somebody is making a factual decision here based on the truth this person knows what they have to do it may not be easy but they're gonna do it anyway so a decision is being made um, this is a firm decision. It's already been thought out. So this person has been observing a situation and, and now the decision is being made. We have the end of a family legacy, the end of a family situation. Somebody is probably changing homes. They're moving homes. There's And this is definitely, uh, there's been some sort of family feud. It's over. It's over. This whole family drama is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. Because somebody's leaving. Somebody's leaving the situation. There's no stability. There's no security. There's this this there's no permanency here. So the decision is being made to accept the truth that, you know, <laughs> There's there's nothing to hold on to. 
there's nothing to hold on to. There are, could also be a loss of a big, huge loss of money. Okay, somebody could be experience a something to do with their home. There could be a huge loss within the home that costs a lot of money. Um, could have to do with partying. Could have to do with drinking. Um, things could get out of hand. Okay, you know it feels, and this could be this could be a lawyer. This could somebody could get sued. Somebody could get sued for not being practical, for not being uh, responsible. Okay, somebody could get in a car accident. I don't know where that is coming from. Somebody could get in a car accident, and you know whoever provided the liquor gets, uh, or you know, if, especially if they're underage, you got to prove, you know, it ain't good. Somebody could lose a lot of money. They could get sued, okay, for being stupid. Just saying. Karma, it works in mysterious ways. When you don't treat people kindly, you are going to get hit. Especially when you lie and you make things up. So anyway, there's some sort of truth that is being delivered. There is, because this guy delivers the truth based on the facts. Somebody is not going to be happy. They are not going to be happy with whatever this person has to say. They are not. They are not. It, it's they're gonna. It's it's gonna be like wow. Oh my God. It really, really is. This person may have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that is coming into their life. This person is uh, a hard worker, very intelligent, very intellectual, has a lot of life experience behind their back. This person uh, may seem a little cold, but once you get to know them, they will open up and they will cherish you. Um, this person... Uh, is very honest and truthful. You know, when they get when they are valued, you know, when they are valued when they are valued, they will they will honor you and they will they will uh take really good care of you. If you don't take care of them, if you lie to them, they are very cutthroat. So if as long as you are honorable to them, they will be honorable back to you. Um We do have the end of a relationship here with these two cards. Somebody is really not going to be happy with with the facts that are being delivered, the facts that are being spoken. There is going to be some 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 sort of communication that is delivered that cuts right through the bullshit, okay? Clarity is coming. We have clarity here, clarity here. Somebody is about to uh, see clearly who is stable, who is solid, who is worthy, and who is not. Okay? Because something is going to happen. Something is going to happen, and it's going to cause some sort of movement. Thing, and this is fast movement. Things happen fast. That's the very first card. There's going to be a transformation, a transition, or a change. Okay? And this is all based on uh, universal law, based on karma. Okay, karma is delivering. Uh, ma it's making a point. A point is about to be made that you have to act with integrity. This person acts with integrity. You have to act in a state of fairness. You have to act in a just manner. And we have somebody here that has not been being honest. They have not been being true. They've been pretending that they were stable. They've been pretending that they wanted to be in this relationship. They've been, been, been pretending that they are happy. They've been lying. But a point is about to be made. Here comes the truth. And I'm telling you what. Here comes the truth. If you. And they, this here comes communication. This is an awakening. It is a wake up call. Somebody is going to get a wake up call. And it's this jealous individual. 
this person that is so jealous and spiteful and vindictive. This independent person who has worked really, really hard to get where they are, somebody is headed towards this person. They are. If you are this person, expect to receive a message from somebody that you were probably not expecting. Good luck.